This is Bling Anti, and this is my statement. Why I no longer trust paparazzi accessories and its founders. Do we know the truth about heavy metals in their jewelry? As a former independent consultant of paparazzi accessories, I used to believe that the company's jewelry was lead and nickel free as the founders, Trent Kirby, Misty Kirby, Ryan Reeve, and Chantel Reeve had long claimed. However, after product testing conducted by accredited laboratories at the request and expense of other consultants, I have lost confidence in those claims and the safety of the product. The results of multiple tests show that the jewelry contains levels of heavy metals that exceed the standards of consumer product safety. As a responsible seller and consumer, I cannot ignore the test results and risk the health and trust of my customers. Even though in America, a person accused is innocent until proven guilty. I believe that the test results are compelling enough to warrant caution and action. Five class action lawsuits and a counterclaim action were already pending against paparazzi when on Thursday, April 6, 2023, the insurance company that is paying paparazzi's legal bills filed suit against the company itself. This is an extraordinary action that suggests a breach of contract. I was so concerned about the matter that I streamed a live video on YouTube to explain the lawsuit and its implications for paparazzi's business and reputation. I also took further actions to protect and prepare my business for the possibility of an abrupt end to retailing paparazzi's products. However, my consultant agreement was terminated by paparazzi's compliance department 10 days later, citing my disparaging remarks against the company and my selling of products below the mandatory price of $5. While I respect the company's right to enforce its policies and protect its interests, I stand by my decision to prioritize the safety of my customers and myself. I have removed all paparazzi accessories products from my e-commerce site. The truth about heavy metals in paparazzi's jewelry must be brought forth through the legal process. As a society, we have the right and duty to demand better and safer products from the companies we buy from and support. By sharing this information and taking responsible actions, we can prevent harm and promote transparency and accountability in the fashion industry. That was my statement and I stand by it. This is the official statement of Paparazzi Accessories. It is found on their website at paparazzi-accessories.helpscoutdocs.com slash article slash 38 hyphen what hyphen is hyphen the hyphen jewelry hyphen made hyphen of. What is the jewelry made of? All paparazzi accessories meet applicable consumer safety laws and regulations in the United States. The metals found in paparazzi accessories pieces are primarily iron and include other trace minerals. Those trace minerals are made up of a metallic alloy of either zinc, steel, or aluminum. Before our jewelry is sold, paparazzi tests its jewelry for chemicals of concern using labs that are accepted by the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission. Paparazzi accessories are not hypoallergenic. Some of the paparazzi accessories are made of actual leather, 
while others are made from synthetic leather or suede, which is a mix of plastics and fabric. It is the same type of material found in many shoes, jackets, and other apparel. While some people may be more sensitive to the smell of these items, it is not harmful. Removing the bracelets from the plastic they are packaged in will help the smell dissipate more quickly if desired. Some of the bracelets and rings may have latex in the elastic stretch band. Paparazzi recommends that per those persons with sensitivity to latex buy the suede or leather bracelets instead. Some of the stones in the accessories are natural stone and some of the stones are made of powder from natural stones. When not made of stone or stone powder, many of the beads in the accessories are made from resin, cubic zirconium, glass, or acrylic. The best resource for describing the accessories to a customer is to rely on the description of each accessory as found in the back office. Last updated on November 17, 2022. The statement differs from the email statement sent to active paparazzi accessories independent consultants on Wednesday, December 2nd, 2021, which reads, Dear Consultant, we are writing to address misleading and false rumors regarding the contents of paparazzi jewelry. Paparazzi accessories meet applicable safety laws and regulations in the United States, including California Proposition 65, which is one of the most stringent consumer laws in the United States. Even though some jewelry may contain trace amounts of lead and nickel, the metals found in paparazzi jewelry pieces are primarily made of iron and include other trace minerals. Those trace minerals are made up of a metallic alloy of either zinc, steel, or aluminum. Before our jewelry is sold, paparazzi tests its jewelry for chemicals of concern using labs that are accepted by the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission. Paparazzi Accessories is required to undergo testing for compliance with California's Prop Proposition 65. This process includes testing for all heavy metals, including lead, nickel, and cadmium, as well as testing for phthalates. The testing process also ensures the requirement of the Federal Trade Commission Green Guide are met. These guidelines provide businesses with gen general principles that apply to all environmental marketing claims, among other things. Pursuant to the Green Guide, a company is permitted to describe an item as free of or does not contain a certain substance, even for a product package or service that contains or uses a trace amount of the substance if one, the level of the specified substance is no more than that which would be found as an acknowledged trace contaminant or background level. Two, the substance's presence does not can cause material harm that consumers typically associate with that substance. And three, the substance has not been added intentionally to the product. We are confident that our products are safe and pose no danger to you. Unfortunately, this issue has been and continues to be misrepresented by individuals who have no basis for their claims and are using it in an attempt to undermine paparazzi's reputation. Paparazzi firmly stands by the quality and viability of its testing and the safety of its products. That's different from the statement currently available on their website. Thank you to everyone who has supported Bling Auntie and BlingAuntie.com. Your support, your continued messages and comments are a great help to me. Watch this space for BlingAuntie.com as we transition from the e-commerce storefront product selling format to the blogging format. We will continue to keep you updated on what's going on with Bling Auntie 
and all the lawsuits. Thank you again so very much.